Great Chocolate Showdown is back. And the competition is bigger. <laughs> and tastier than ever. It's all about chocolate in this kitchen. Ten hopeful home bakers will put their passion and their skills to the test as they enter the delectable world of chocolate. Each week, the bakers will be tested on a wide range of chocolate-based challenges by a panel of world-class expert judges. Award-winning cake designer Cynthia Stroud, pastry chef and master chocolatier Steve Hodge, and best-selling cookbook author Anna Olson. Get creative. There's so many different ways to wow us. The path to their dreams is paved with struggle. Oh, come on, come on, please. Ugh. Determination. We just got to make it happen. And some very sweet rewards. Oh, snap! Yes! This is amazing. And at the end, only one will have their baking dreams come true. <laughs> Welcome to Great Chocolate Showdown. <gasps> wow. My gosh. So excited to be here. Like, is this real? This kitchen is extraordinary, and I get to bake here. <laughs> Hello, bakers, and welcome to Great Chocolate Showdown. <laughs> Each one of you is standing here because you're a passionate home baker, ready to step into a world of chocolatey creations. So now it's time to show us your talents. Show us what excites you. And of course, show us your love of baking and chocolate. The next starts right now. And how it ends, well, that's up to you. Because only one of you will be named Great Chocolate Showdown Champion and take home the grand prize of $50,000. Bakers, are you ready to get started? Yes! Yeah. Your first technique test begins now. Beggars, I am going to show you how to make a tempered chocolate tic-tac-toe board. Oh, wow. my God. It's a fundamental skill in all chocolate dessert making. When tempering chocolate, there are three key elements. Time, temperature, and movement. If it's set perfectly, there will be a nice shine, and you'll be able to snap it. Ooh. Oh, snap! <laughs> All right, first, I'm going to show you how to make the board. I'm going to pour the chocolate onto the acetate. I can't even pour a glass of water that clean. Chef Steve, he is smooth as butter. I want to move from corner to corner to corner to corner, and we're going to bang it. We're going to allow this to sit. So my chocolate is in temper. I'm touching it, but it's not sticking to my hand. At that point, I'm ready to score the board. We are looking for a 14 by 14 inch square. Remove this excess chocolate and you're gonna put it in the fridge for about five minutes. And then we're gonna peel our acetate off. Wow. Shine. This suit looks really good on me. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to assemble my board. I've made perfect strips of tempered white chocolate. Every single square should be the same size. And now I want to glue the grid to the board using our leftover. Now that our grid is done, I'm going to show you how to make our chocolate X's. I want my chocolate to be purple, but have fun with it. Color it whatever you like. At this point, throw it in the fridge. Five to 10 minutes. So my chocolate is set. I'm going to pop them out with my thumbs, just like that. See how beautiful and shiny those are? So there you have it, the tic-tac-toe board game. Wow. For your first technique test, you create us a tic-tac-toe board complete with chocolate X's and four O-shaped mini chocolate desserts. Give us a taste of who you are with your flavors and your decor. You'll be judged on originality, presentation, taste, and your chocolate techniques. The three bakers who impress us the most will earn sweet safety yes. and will not have to bake in the upcoming chocolate elimination challenge. Bakers, make sure you bring your A game because only six desserts will be tasted. The pantry is stocked with the fun ingredients and you'll all have two and a half hours to complete this technique test. Bakers, are you ready to show us some tic-tac tempering? Yes! Ready, steady, get 
get your sweet on. <laughs> so many colors. Orange. My name's Tim. I'm 35 years old, and I'm a police detective. I originally started baking vegan desserts for my son. He has a severe dairy allergy, but now I am in the kitchen. I playing with my kids. Baking kind of helped relieve a lot of stress from work. So the area that I police in is mostly Hispanic. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite desserts that they have is a mango nada. Mango nada is a frozen drink. I'm using fresh mangoes seasoned with Mexican spices. I'm going to be making a hot Atlanta tic-tac-toe board with a white chocolate mango nada tart. So I'm going to start with tempering my chocolate. I'm trying to get this heat to come down a little bit. I want that old snap moment. Still kind of high. It's taking a little time. My name is Ashley. I'm a medical hospital in Baltimore, Maryland. We see about 300 patients a day. I hardly ever sit. <laughs> I want to quit my job. I want to open a bakery, and I want to bake for the rest of my life. Ashley, what are you planning for your tic-tac-toe board? You no, know, my grandmother, she used to always make us coconut cakes. My grandmother passed away from cancer a few years back. So today, I'm making a pink ribbon tic-tac-toe board with chocolate coconut cake O's. This is dedicated to her. My grandmother would be so happy. Oh, you using my recipe? <laughs> she would be so happy. <laughs> Bakers, two hours left on the clock. This is the very first technique test of the competition. We are asking our bakers to temper chocolate and spread it out to make the board. Cast chocolate to make the X's and cut chocolate to make the tic-tac-toe grids. Some of the bakers, they're still tempering their chocolate. They haven't started anything else. There's some chunks in there. Ugh. Looking pretty good. I'm excited to have the board foundation down. I'm Emma, I'm 23 years old, and I'm a health records clerk. I've been baking with my mom in the kitchen. One year, I just whipped together some pumpkin cookies, and that's where my love for baking started. Designing something beautiful and then giving that to my family and seeing them enjoy it makes me really happy. <laughs> I'm making a I Love You tic-tac-toe board with milk chocolate eclair O's because I love my family. Oh man, I think we might be there. My name is Mike, I'm 38, I'm from Chicago, and I'm an emergency physician. Whatever comes through that door, trauma, heart attacks, strokes, that's what you have to be ready for. It is stressful, pushing in the adrenaline of the ER, and then I love the serenity and the calmness of baking. My tic-tac-toe board is inspired by the city of Chicago where I live, so I'll be using the colors of our city flag with a chocolate cake. We got this, my friend. I think pink's my favorite color. <laughs> You'll find with a lot of the stuff that I make, it's gonna be colorful, it's gonna be pretty. I'm Allie Herbochik, I'm a stay-at-home mom, and I am 30 years old. Baking definitely allowed me to find myself because it serves as a form of expression, artistic. My tic-tac-toe board represents my children. I am making a three wild kids tic-tac-toe board with raspberry sugar cookies. I am a Cree woman from Treaty 6 territory in Canada and my people are known for being berry pickers. So it was important to me to incorporate that into my first dish. Bakers, you have an hour and 30 minutes left. Phew, I feel better because all my ruby is now cast. My name is Donna, I'm a props builder and I'm from Langley, British Columbia, Canada. Working in film as a props builder, I've sculpted things, I got baking adds that extra layer because I get to play around with the flavors. I am making a golden tic-tac-toe board with black sesame financier O's. I draw a lot of my flavors from my Korean background. Also, I like to swap my salt with fish sauce. It's got the umami, baby. <laughs> That's pretty. I'm Charlie, I'm 43 years old, and I'm a music teacher. Being a music teacher, it's all about practicing, improvising, and creativity. And I've been very active throughout my life, but a little less than a year ago, I found out that I had multiple sclerosis. MS is a disease that can attack your brain and your spinal cord. It's been a lot. And I started baking, it focuses my mind. I tell myself, listen, focus on what's gonna make you happy and just bake. It's looking good. I'm from coastal North Carolina, so I am making a beach-inspired tic-tac-toe board with chocolate cheesecake O's, because my mom loves cheesecake. 
I am trying my best to hurry up and get this mess in his mouth. Wish I had your energy. <laughs> my name is Kristen. I'm 23 and I'm from Jackson, Mississippi. I'm a food delivery driver, but my passion is baking. Fingers crossed that these come out right. My grandmother is my inspiration. I have watched and helped her bake in the kitchen since I was a kid. My grandmother raised me, and now on the Great Chocolate Showdown, I'm gonna make her proud. My name is Meredith, I'm 35 years old. I'm from Temple, Texas, and I'm a stay-at-home mom of three. I bake for my family because I love them, and it's my love language. I've been through combat training, I've gotten my master's degree, and now I wanna win Great Chocolate Fun to take on a new challenge, and I am ready. My whole family is Cajun, and we celebrate Mardi Gras every year. So I am making a Mardi Gras-inspired tic-tac-toe board with bananas fostered cream puffs in the shape of O's. Bakers, one hour left. I am about to start cutting my board to size when I realize that's not good. I made it short. I am one inch too short. If I give Chef Steve a tic-tac-toe board that does not meet the measurement requirements, I'm gonna fail this technique test. That's not good. My board is one inch too short. The pink chocolate is so beautiful, I decide to use it for my grid lines instead. Now I gotta temper out new chocolate, pour a new board, and get it done fast. Raphael behind you. My name is Raphael. I'm a retired U.S. Army soldier, and I'm from Fayetteville, North Carolina. The military can be quite stressful. I became sergeant, and the responsibilities were too much for me. I started baking. It helped me with my anxiety and depression. Being in the military, I just needed to figure out a way to chill out. The theme of my tic-tac-toe board is my favorite treat, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So I am making a peanut butter tic-tac-toe board with chocolate PB&J cake O's. The fact that I'm here baking for these amazing judges, this is like the coolest thing I've done in a long time. 30 minutes to go, bakers. <gasps> Perfect. Time to make the lines for my tic-tac-toe board. <laughs> I'm gonna just crack. Oh, I'm in big trouble. This task requires them to be very precise. However, I'm seeing lots of jagged edges, and with these boards, there's nowhere to hide. We are only selecting our favorite six that really capture our attention and our curiosity. Five minutes left on the clock, bakers! This chocolate is not tempered at all, so I don't want to put it on my dessert. I am trying to make this grid, so in a panic, I decide to paint gold cocoa butter paint. It's time to take my desserts out of their molds. My mousse has not set. And so my cake breaks apart and I just have mousse goop running through my hands. Bakers, let's go! Crunch time. <laughs> Get everything on your boards. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up! Now, we'll come around and take a closer look. Remember, we'll only be tasting six of your desserts. Whoever doesn't do well in this technique test will have to bake in the elimination challenge. Please taste this dessert. I feel nervous, but I'm so ready to present something. Bakers, we asked you to bring us your A game by creating a tempered chocolate tic-tac-toe board and four mini chocolate desserts. The first dessert we'd like to taste belongs to... I made a three wild kids tic-tac-toe board with raspberry sugar cookies. I decided to go with three wild and loud colors. They are a representation of my three kids. Ali, I love the different tones of the colors, the pinks and the purples. You have to be more precise on your grid lines, but it is so shiny, fully in temper. I almost want to check my reflection. <laughs> it's gorgeous. All right, I think it's time to taste this dessert. Ali, you are lucky you had softness in the cookie because it slices and serves like a cake. It's a delicious cookie, but did I get raspberry? No. 
Mm. Allie, thank you so much. You can head back. Thank you. Donna, please bring us your tic-tac-toe board. I made a golden tic-tac-toe board with black sesame financier O's. I love gold, and I'm just trying to showcase it. Donna, you're pretty spot on, but I can't tell if that chocolate's tempered because it's coated in gold dust. You're hiding the beauty of the chocolate. It feels tempered, but let's see. Oh, snap, it's in temper. Yes. So it's sesame seed and... There's fish sauce in there. Fish sauce. Definitely with the black sesame. Nailed it because we got that lovely texture of fish is pretty pungent. Some of it would have been more pleasurable with more chocolate in there to really balance the scales. Donna, thank you very much. Thank you. Tim, please bring us your tic-tac-toe board. So I made a hot lantern tic-tac-toe board with a white chocolate mango nata tart. For my exes, I tried to incorporate some flames I'm from Atlanta, so it's kind of an ode to hot Atlanta. Tim, there's a reason we chose your dessert. It's the energy that comes from it, and we can see the gloss exes. But just watch the amount of chocolate that you use when you're gluing the chocolate. You just want a little bit so it doesn't come out. I should test one of those chocolate decors. Oh, I'm getting an old snap. It's not in temper, but it's almost there. Tim, you use the heat really well. And I think the cream cheese does lift your white chocolate. It works. That is a sophisticated dessert. Thank you, judges. The next dessert we'd like to try belongs... Charlie. I made a beach-inspired tic-tac-toe board with chocolate cheesecake O's. Charlie, I love the height on your decor. I love the pastel-looking colors, but I'm feeling it melt. So I know that your chocolate is in temper, and I want to see you get better. I will. Thank you. Charlie, your cheesecake packs a punch. And because it's tangy, it delivers. But that crust crumble on top, there wasn't enough of it. And that's part of the joy of a good cheesecake is that contrast between this super creamy filling and then the crunch of the crust. Charlie, thank you so much. You can head back. Thank you. Bakers, there are only two desserts left to taste. And the next creation we'd like to try belongs to Kristen. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, okay. Tell us about your Tic Tac. My fiance loves chocolate cake and ice cream dates, so I made a fun at the ice cream parlor Tic Tac Toe board with vanilla glaze chocolate pound cake O's. Kristen, I think you did a wonderful job. It's wild. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Full of life, high energy, and I'm guessing that's your personality. Yes, it is. It was your very first time ever tempering chocolate, and you did a great job. It's all the imperfections I want you to work on. Kristen, your pound cake tastes intense chocolate. However, it needed a little something in the middle to add some moisture. Kristen, thank you so much. Thank you. You can head back. We only have one dessert left to taste, and that dessert belongs to... We only have one dessert left to taste, and that dessert belongs to... Ashley. I made a pink ribbon tic-tac-toe board with chocolate coconut cake O's. This board represents my grandmother. She used to always make us chocolate coconut cake for every birthday. Ashley, 
You tempered chocolate, great. I can see it on the board, on the corners. Your grid lines are inconsistent, but your board pairs really nicely with your desserts. Thank you. Okay, time for some chocolate coconut cake. We've got something that's quite refined with the dessert. The coconut comes through. Kudos to your grandmother <laughs> yes. for a really solid cake recipe. You can head back. Thank you. Grandma, this one is for you. Bakers, we asked you to create a tempered chocolate tic-tac-toe game featuring four desserts that gave us a taste of who you are. Meredith. Mike. Emma and Raphael. Unfortunately, we did not select your desserts. So all of you will be the next challenge. The three bakers who impressed us the most will be granted sweet safety and will not have to bake in the next challenge. When I call your name, please step forward. Ashley. Tim. And Allie. Congratulations. The three of you had our favorite desserts of the challenge. Thank you so <laughs> But the best dessert of this technique test won us over with intriguing flavors and winning presentation. And that dessert belongs to... Tim. <laughs> Best dessert. It feels amazing. Tim, your white chocolate manganata tart was extraordinary. And the balance of heat was oh so good. <laughs> Congratulations, bakers. Please go sit in sweet safety. <laughs> the rest of you will have to bake again. But this time, you're fighting to stay in the competition. Bakers, it has often been said that you are what you eat, but in this kitchen, you are what you bake. Oh my oh my God. God. <laughs> For your first chocolate elimination challenge, we scrunch a scene by creating a cakescape. A cakescape? is a grouping of cakes decorated in a way that tells a story or illustrates a theme. And for this challenge, the inspiration is you. Your cakescape must include three cakes with a minimum of two layers of sponge, filling and three applications of chocolate. You'll have access to our fully stocked pantry and you'll have three hours to complete this challenge. But remember, the baker who presents us with our least favorite dessert will be going home. Steady, steady, <laughs> get your chocolate on. Ooh, 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 ooh. And get me one of these, six of those. Ah, hey, Kristen. Yes? What are you doing? I am doing a beauty-inspired case case. A what? Beauty. Oh, beauty. <laughs> you know I have a passion for fashion. Yes. So, hey. <laughs> I love it. I'm making a cake scape named I Love Beauty. My cake flavor today is going to be a vanilla cream cheese filling and a chocolate buttercream. That is chocolate. This is actually my first time working with modeling chocolate, and I'm pretty proud of it. You're going to see a cute little lipstick and a fun eyeshadow palette. Come on, baby. We're getting close. All right, let's start adding my seeding chocolate. For my cakescape, nature is my inspiration. I love flowers, so I want to present the judges with some glorious chocolate-tempered flowers on top of my cakes. All right, you guys hang out there. I'm with an orange fennel curd and the Swiss meringue buttercream, because orange and chocolate is one of those classic combinations that everybody loves. Today, I am making a stormscape. For my cakescape, I'm using a storm as an analogy for grief. My cakescape is entitled Grief is an Expression of Love. My husband Patrick passed away at 32. So I'm making my husband's favorite, which is chocolate cake with a raspberry compote filling. 
When you are grieving, you never move on, you move forward. I miss Patrick and I want to celebrate him. He didn't get out of his dreams and so I'm going to go for it with my entire heart. I set myself a timer for 15 minutes to get the cakes in the oven. The theme of my cakescape is beauty in the desert. When I was in the Marines, I was living near Joshua Tree, California when I really came to appreciate how beautiful the desert was. Okay, this looks amazing. My cakes are chocolate chai filled with a chocolate chai ganache because drinking chai tea makes you feel warm inside and I want the judges to feel transported to the desert. While my cakes are cooking in the oven, I move on to my raspberry buttercream. So I'm making an Italian buttercream because it's a really smooth, silky buttercream that also holds its shape. So I'm adding the hot liquefied sugar into my egg whites and they completely deflate. Bakers do what it takes to get those cakes assembled and chilling. Keep it going, don't give up. I'm attempting my second batch of buttercream, and then once again, when my peaks completely collapse, I'm so frustrated. My buttercream has fallen apart twice now. I'm trying to make Italian buttercream, but I can't even get the egg whites to come to peaks this time. Very frustrated. Keep it going, don't give up. I need to come up with another option. So I decide to make American buttercream in order to have something to put on these cakes. It'll work. I am not giving up on this cake. I'm working on molding for my top of one of my cakes. It's going to be a canoe. Growing up as a kid, I went to summer camp. I learned how to canoe and pitch a tent. The wilderness skills helped me a lot when I joined the Army. So the theme of my cake scape is summer camp, and I'm making a blackberry jam walnut cake. Oh, your cakes are looking good. Yeah, they are. Emma, are you having fun yet? Yeah, <laughs> I am. <laughs> For the cake scape, I have to make three cakes. My first cake is going to be a bamboo basket full of modeling chocolate. The name of my cake scape is Picnic Family Fun. I love spending time with my family, and we go on lots of picnics. I'm making a chocolate cake with ube white chocolate ganache. Ube is a purple yam that is traditionally used in Filipino desserts, and I'm half Filipino. I love ube. It tastes like a mix of vanilla and pistachio. And this is going to be a picnic blanket. I hope the judges can see that not only can I make pretty desserts, but I can make really delicious flavors as well. Bakers, you have one hour left. That very filling on top of my cakes, I've noticed that my filling is not as thick as I want it to be. Now it's starting to seep out of the edges. I hope that if I put buttercream around my edges, my filling will stay inside the center. Time is running out. I get my second batch of cakes out of the blast chiller. I am in a rush, and I'm just trying to focus on getting these cakes stacked. But I don't know if I have this chilled enough. This cake starts to melt. I'm really worried I won't finish on time. I still have one more cake to decorate. I have to finish my flour and to finish icing my flour pot that has fallen over. I have a whole nother cake to do. I'm making some little cacti. I'm trying to make my cake scape have realistic little cacti all around it. I take some cookie sticks and I pipe some cacti onto the sticks with a little bit of buttercream. In the first technique test, I didn't finish doing what I said I wanted to do. And I can't wait to prove to the judges that I have what it takes. It is time to decorate. I add grass, the flag, dirt. This really looks like a campsite. 30 minutes to go, bakers. Let's do this. Let's hustle. My cakes are stacked. Time to get these flowers on top. Time is running out. The pressure is on, so I'm pretty nervous. 15 minutes left, bakers. You can do this. Let's go. Although I want my cake scape to be perfect, because I'm racing against the clock, I'm just going to have to be OK with some imperfections. It looks terrible. With the clock ticking down, this cake is looking like a hot mess. I just hope this is enough beauty to keep. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. Y'all did it. Woo! I 
look at my cakes. I am so proud. I feel pretty good about my cake scape. I am not going home. Bakers, we asked you to create a cake scape that shared a story with your flavors and your chocolate decor. Emma, please. The name of my cake scape is Picnic Family Fun. I made a chocolate cake with a ube white chocolate ganache. There are games that I like to play with my cousins. Karaoke comes from my Filipino side and then the dumplings come from my Chinese side. I am very much attracted to this cake scape. Each cake tells a story, but they're unified. I do wish we'd get more buttercream coverage. Let's give it a taste. Emma, not everyone can deliver a chocolate cake. This one hits the mark. Your ube feeling has just the right level of chocolatiness. Emma, thank you so much. You can head back. Thank you. Raphael. The theme of my cakescape is summer camp. This is a blackberry jam walnut cake. You really have painted the scene. I'm glad I'm not in that canoe, because <laughs> that's quite the waterfall. The cake flavor, does that connect to your childhood? <laughs> it's an army thing. Ah. Yes, we have a ready to eat. Black. I found myself to really love it. I see the blackberry filling is showing itself. It did not cook down long enough. Raphael, your buttercream was soft and silky, but unfortunately, I got zero chocolate. You have some big flavors going on, the spices, the walnuts, but there has to be more chocolate on the plate. Raphael, thank you. You can head back. Thank you. Kristen, please bring us your cake scape. Word that they will think that this cake scape is just too messy. I don't want to go home. I present to you a cake scape named I Love Beauty. It's a vanilla cake with a cream cheese filling and a chocolate buttercream. Kristen, the modeling chocolate, I want to see it refined. Even though these colors pop, you have to work on those details. Well, I'm beautiful, but sometimes I could be a miss. <laughs> Thank you for being bold, but we can't ignore the misshapen cake we're seeing and the pulling away of the buttercream. Your chocolate buttercream did offer a good chocolate element. You had good flavor. Kristen, thank you so much. <laughs> Meredith, please bring us your cakescape. I was living near Joshua Tree, California when I was in the Marine Corps. So the theme of my cake in the desert. My cakes are chocolate chai filled with a chocolate chai ganache. Chai tea makes you feel really warm when you drink it, and it kind of makes you feel like the sun's on your skin. That you are bringing three original cakes that each have their own character. It's visually very, very interesting. Thank you. Meredith, really well done. You have this lovely chocolate cake, and you're like, oh, what's that? And it's the lovely warming spices of the chai flavor there. Your decor on the top, it's not in temper, but I love what you've done. Great job. Thank you. Charlie, please bring us your chocolate creation. For this elimination challenge, I made a gardening is peaceful cake scape. It is a brown sugar lemon pound cake with white chocolate ganache. This has been a pretty tough year for me. I was diagnosed with MS. My mother, she's my best friend. I'm the plant following with the MS. She is the water bucket, and she's constantly watering me, lifting me back up. More than a garden story, I love the metaphor. That is intensely meaningful. Charlie, your imagination took off. You delivered with your modeling chocolate. You used your cocoa butter color. You delivered. Thank you. Charlie, really, really delicious cake. I did taste your white chocolate, and it was a really lovely balance to the lemon cake. 
if anything, perhaps almost a... Charlie, thank you so much. You can head back. Mike, please bring us your cake skate. For this cakescape, I've titled it Grief is an Expression of Love. I chose a storm as an analogy. The cakes are chocolate cake with a raspberry compote. Those flavors went into the cake that I made for my husband for our first wedding anniversary, and uh, he passed away eight days after that. I commend your strength to share the core of who you are on a cakescape. Them and thanking him for, you know, everything he did for me. Mike, you do need to work on your piping skills, but those teardrops are all uniform. They look great. Good job. Mike, I thought your sponge cake gave me the chocolate flavor. However, the seeds of the berries, you do need to pick your teeth afterwards. Mike, thank you so much. You can head back. Thank you. Donna, please bring us your cakescape. In my cakescape, nature is my inspiration. My cake is a chocolate cake filled with an orange fennel curd and a Swiss meringue buttercream. This is an elegant cakescape, refined in its simplicity, but I'm seeing some catches and flaws on the masking of your buttercream. Shall we give it a taste? Yes. Uh, I love the fact that you did different styles of tempered chocolate. Do you think you tempered the chocolate? I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm still going to do this as you do that, though. You're so close, but it's just not in temper. Dang. It's a beautiful cake. It tastes gorgeous. Oh, thank you. The acidity of the orange curd just cut through the chocolate and your Swiss meringue buttercream beautifully. Thank you. Bakers. Thank you so much for giving us a taste of who you are. Now, judges, tough decision to make. Bakers, we asked you to create a cakescape that told us something about you. Thank you for sharing a slice of yourself with us. When I call your name, please step forward. Charlie. Emma and Mike. Three of you are safe and we'll move on to the next round of the competition. Please join your fellow bakers. Meredith. And Donna. The two of you had our favorite desserts of this challenge. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. This dessert is... Meredith. <laughs> Meredith, you brought elegance and sophistication to the desert. And your chocolate cake was truly a flavor oasis. Congratulations to the both of you. Please join your fellow bakers. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Good job. Raphael and Kristen, unfortunately, you did not do as well. Kristen, it's true that beauty's in the but there's a big difference between a well-made cake and a hot mess. Raphael. We felt the joy of the outdoors in your design, and your walnut blackberry cake was loaded with flavor. However, the one flavor we wanted the most, chocolate, was missing entirely. Sadly, one of you must leave this kitchen. Is this okay? You're good. The baker who is going home is... Raphael.
Raphael, your command of flavors is exceptional. We hope you continue your baking journey because with a palette like that, we know there are wonderful things in store for you. Everyone, please come say goodbye to Raphael. I am very disappointed that I am going home, but I'm very excited the journey can take me. Next time on Great Chocolate Showdown, oh, up. the top nine home bakers attempt to raise the bar. Oh. This stuff is sticky. But soon, cracks begin to show. Oh. In the elimination challenge, the stakes are raised. With some cheese, some chocolate, some anxiety. When a chocolate and cheese challenge grates on the baker's nerves. Ah! There's no technique or skill in it. I did not do my best, so I'm nervous.
Find our way. 